Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about install and setup for low cost. First step we need to do it for we need to some requirement. In this video is basically we can able to learn for Python installation and also a PyCharm and low cost setup for using for Python okay these three things we can able to see and also this three uh, two things i already explained into my previous videos like robotic framework installation place and i used for python installation and pycharm in case if you are not understanding in this video to install how we can able to do it you can go through there also we can able to learn okay and basically whenever you open for browser search for python download once you open it is like first one it will come for python org then you can able to click here and you can able to see the by default there is a new version which version it is presented okay you can able to use this one to download or else you can able to come to a down there are constant versions are presented here you can see see that what maintenance status is presented present so 3.10 is bugs fixing is presented and 3.9 security 3.8 also security 3.7 security means they are using for these things present and 2.4 end of the life they are going to ending for the life for that okay you can able to use 2.7 also there is no problem and in my system it is supporting for 3.8 right now okay and once you see the 3.9 and you can able to go ahead for in, down in this session we can able to download for 3.8 version of python you can able to python 3.8.0 version somewhere it is present see here 3.8.0 and you can able to click for downloads once you click the downloads you can able to it will navigate to another page and you can able to come down you can able to see the files here you have to choose for carefully like not web based and executable installer okay you have to click this one once you click it will download the file okay you have to open double click for that file and it will open to installation mode okay exe once you click the exe it will open for execution mode i have already that's why it is showing that modify and even you can able to choose here any one other executable installation uh, installer also 64 bit okay this also work out anything you will see for install new see now here it is showing for install and you can able to choose this one also this is the uh, first time when you are doing for installation that this is the one and in case if you want to repair something then you can able to use this one also both the cases are similar format and you have to remember here the path where exactly it is storing click next and next next then it will install into your system into a python okay once it is done you have to you have to set up for uh this one which one uh environment variables in environment variables you have to go to users and here you can app data is in hidden field you have to enable hidden fields to see and then you have to go for inside local then you need to go for programs and python and your version here okay in this place you have to copy this path and as well as script why script in these two things means 
a script is basically we have a pip to install for all versions like all third party tools we have to install into here using a pip whenever you using to install the uh, using for pip to install any software then this script is required to download for third party tools to install into your python place okay when uh, once you click the, these two things we have to copy paste then in windows 10 we need to search for edit environment variables and click here and then you can able to you will see for python uh, path and here you, ha you have to click for edit then you have to at the last position you can able to see here also you can able to click here and you can able to copy paste first place you have to copy paste for a python location and second uh, again you have to new line again you can add for script one both the things you have to add it here okay once you add and ok ok you can click and you can finish it once you done that and you need to open for command prompt in this command prompt you can able to search whether you have python installed properly or not a python iphone iphone version once you done then it will gives you that python is presented or not okay after that you can able to use pycharm download once you click the pycharm it will give us a first link you can able to click here then you can able to download here there are two options are present one is professional that is a paid version it will give us a first 30 days as a tri uh, trial version then you can able to community it's completely free and open source you can download this one click next next and install it it will install into your system okay once it is done everything then you can able to open for again command prompt and here we can able to use there is a one command that is a pip pip install locust okay once you hit it this one it will install into your, your system once it is installed then you have to search like you have to check whether the low cost is presented or not just using for low cost iphone iphone version okay basically it will take more time to install and please wait until completion of that installation okay i have already installation that's why it is you can able to see requirement already satisfied okay and then once it is completed then you can able to use for low cost iphone iphone version which version of low cost is presented into your system that it will provide for low cost version what are the things we done for first step we install python and then step 2 set up environment variables for python step 3 checking for version for python that is like python iphone iphone version okay then step 4 is like install for pycharm okay then step five it is like install low cost and step six checking version it's like a low cost iphone iphone version okay these are the things we need to do for when set up on python pycharm and low cost into your local system that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed Please like my video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.